but you do not have to have a treadmill to do cardio, so no excuses. What's up YouTube? So it is 5.30 a.m. and it is a really, really, really busy day today. Um, we are starting out with the Johnny Cantino Squat Challenge. I've been doing this program for about seven weeks now. It's the beginning of week seven, and I'm lifting 185. No, I like to go. Oh my gosh, it's too early. I'm lifting 150. How do I get 35 pounds of rinse? It's a really, really, really busy day today, and I'm not excited for it, but I'm going to show you guys what I'm wearing because I got a new jacket. Um, this is what the jacket looks like. It has a cute little pocket. It's really like it's really slimming, really tight. I love it. And then I got this. I'm pretty sure I got this from TJ Maxx. And then the pants I got from TJ Maxx. They're like they're high waisted. I'm gonna try to vlog all my food today. And when I say try, I mean. I'm gonna try, but it's really, really, really hard. It's really hard when you have to work all day, and on top of that, remember to take a camera with you whenever you have your food ready. Now, my macros are at 373 carbs, um, 140 protein, and it's like 50 fats. I'm not eating a lot of protein right now just because I am bulking, and you know, it's just, it's not needed, it's not necessary. So once I start my prep up again, I will be upping my protein and decreasing my carbs. People usually ask me what my meals consist of with my macros and how they're set up. And I really don't have like a set meal plan. I don't have like meals that I eat every single day. It's literally if it fits your macros, then it works out for me. When I do get home, I mean I make like chicken and rice or eggs and rice. Um, to fill my fats, I usually eat a lot of nuts or peanut butter or coconut oil. I don't, but like throughout the day I'm usually eating all of my fats up with different meals. I'm sorry guys. just wake up at noon every single day and go to the gym and then come home and sleep for like seven hours. But that's not the way life works. So I'm gonna go to the gym, come home, rush to work, work for eight hours, nine hours, afterwards meet with clients, and then freaking go to bed at like 11.30. Life. That's my life right there. No. Shit. You're probably wondering why there's a random Daddy cook in the bathroom. <laughs> I don't need to explain myself. Look how pretty that is. That is so pretty. What is up, Fit Fam? So we are doing the Johnny Cantito Squat Challenge, and I'm on week seven. This consists of upping my weight with squatting, deadlifting, and doing some accessories. So my first one is the basic squat, and I had to use a Smith machine because someone was actually taking up the squat rack at the moment. So I was stuck doing those, but I make sure to keep my butt out and my back straight so that I'm not putting all the weight in my knees. The next one is, is an accessory. This is known as the sissy squat. And this works mainly on your quads, and my goal right now is to definitely, definitely get bigger quads. So I do these about three times a week, and I'm doing three for 20. Um, with this one, I make sure I keep my knees at a good angle and my back straight. The next one is pin squats. I only do these about twice a week with this squat challenge. Um, this, you start from the bar and you actually lift up with your back and it works on your quads, hamstrings, and your lower your lower back. The next one is, I, I don't even know what to call this one, I didn't really have a name, but it's just like doing a squat except laying down. If you guys know the name, please put it down below because I really do not know the name of this exercise. 
All I know is that my hamstrings were absolutely burning after this one, and I regret it, to be completely honest. The next one I'm doing is a dumb, an incline dumbbell press. With this one, I always make sure to keep my chest puffed up, and I always have it, um, my back arched so that I'm not putting too much pressure on my lower back. The next one I'm doing are cable flies. These are my favorite, favorite chest workout. Um, I always make sure to put one foot out. It just helps me with my form a lot more and um, make sure I always have my fingers sticking out, touching each other. Okay, so I just did my workout and now I've decided that I want to do some sprints outside for my hip cardio. Ooh, sounds great. So this is where I'm doing it at. It's in the back of Anytime Fitness in Boone. But you do not have to have a treadmill to do cardio, so no excuses. I'm ready for this. I'm going to do about 15 minutes of intervals, so I'm going to time it. But yeah, let's finish this one out, guys. It's honestly us against the world. We're the perfect team. my dream. If you ever need a helper, hey, you should know that I'll be there day and night. Nobody else can love you better. I'm here just to treat you right. You're the reason I'm alive. You're the only pain I can endure. But when you're not here, What's up guys? So this is actually kind of my first meal of the day and I know that sounds really bad because I had all morning but after my workout I was really rushed to go to work so I wasn't able to really eat anything so I've been starving all day. Um, so this is like my lunch and breakfast. So I made sure to include a lot of carbs because I usually eat all my carbs in the morning so I have fuel for throughout the day at work or school. So I went and got a Subway sandwich. And the only one I really like is the cold cook combo. I do not like the turkey one. But I didn't get any sort of topping on it besides veggies. I got yeah, like lettuce, pickles, tomatoes, all that. I ate some cheese. But I didn't get any like ranch or mayo or anything like that. Um, it's super, super, super carby, which I really need when I go back to work. And then during work, I will be having like chicken and rice, which I'll show you guys. But I don't, I don't usually try to eat out as much. I do occasionally, and like busy days like this, it's kind of hard to prep my meals and get them all ready. So I'm trying to work on that. That's a habit I need to break. But that's my meal so far, and it, I mean, it was super easy. And I'm enjoying it. So yeah. So my next meal, I have brown rice with eggs. It's about 100 grams of rice and about six eggs. And then I have, I went and bought muscle milk. Those are the macros on it. This is a new one. This is the smoothie. And then I have, to, I have a lot of carbs left. So I went and bought just some Twizzlers. It's a package of four and a half, so I'm probably going to have half of this. And those are the macros, which aren't bad on fat, so I need something super carby for tonight. What's up, YouTube? So I did not, I did not do a very good job at vlogging my face. I'm so new to this. It's weird thinking that every single time I eat, I should be recording it. So in the morning, like I said, I didn't have very much, so I ended up getting a sub sandwich on my break from work. Um, that had 93 carbs, 42 uh, protein, and 32 fat. So then I had, I shared like my eggs and rice and muscle milk and um, 
my calories left for the day, my macros left for the day, I should say, were like 15 carbs, 25 protein, and I was like negative five on fats. But honestly, I'm not too worried about that. Sometimes we go a little over. I kind of had all my macros in one sitting. So usually I end up, I split my macros up into six meals, but I think I had like three or four yesterday. So I didn't have very much. Uh, which was my fault, but yeah. Um, I will be doing my next video on bloating. I get questions on how to reduce the bloating or how to stop bloating from happening while prepping or just in general. I have a few tricks that I use personally for my body that help to reduce my bloating or to get rid of it while I'm on my period, prepping, um, while my diet, while my food's digesting, all that fun stuff. So. Anywho, I have to get to work. It is, oh, I'm six minutes late. I have to get to work, guys. So anyways, the description will be down below. And my email, my Instagram, my Facebook will be, will be down there. If you have any questions, just email me. Um, like and share my video. And have a wonderful weekend, you guys.